today? I'm Jean Bender, and I'm the parent of a 24-year-old with multiple disabilities. We're going to put shoes on. David was born with Down syndrome, his autism, epilepsy, and celiac disease. And so the combination of all of those things um, make it very difficult for him to um, do things independently. And one of the really frustrating things to me is it seems like here, when it comes time to make sacrifices, individuals who are least able are asked to step up to the plate first. Every time you make across the board cuts, people start looking at that difference and saying, how much more of a hit can I take? I already quit my job. I have a 30 year mortgage at age 50. If you cut his budget even more, I don't know what else I can do. Jean has been David's guitar teacher for probably over 10 years. Because of David's autism, he can be kind of rigid, and with Jean's help, he can kind of move into some newer things now and then. David will follow directions from Jean. Um, he can playfully deviate. What David and Jean do, I would say, is speech therapy, it's music therapy, it's a guitar lesson, it's playtime, it's turn-taking, all in one thing. And so we've tried to set up a program for David so that he has a multitude of people coming in and out of his life and providing care. What's happening as you cut funding is families who are willing to be partners in their, lo their adult loved one's care are starting to feel overwhelmed and they're feeling like there are sacrifices that they just can't make. It's frustrating sometimes when different politicians or legislators talk about not wanting to raise taxes because the American people can't afford it, and yet when they raise parental fees or cut services to individuals with disabilities, they're choosing to punish a small subset of the population for needing help and through no fault of their own. You can cut the programs, it doesn't make the needs go away. 